of Louisiana believe that the Honey Island Swamp Monster exists. There's things you'll hear. Stands the hair on your neck up. So now we're going to test the theory that this creature is actually a natural inhabitant of the area, the Louisiana black bear. Three, two, one. Paul, release the bears. He's massive. They are impressive specimens. Wow. Maybe we can get the bears to stand up on their hind legs, because when you see the creature on the film, it's on his hind legs. Yeah, definitely. We can definitely try and get them up here, get them on their hind legs. Up. Up. Oh, there it yeah, goes. Good so, girl, okay. Betsy. Hold, Betsy Bear, hold. Wow, they're a lot taller than I thought they'd be. No, they are able to keep their balance for a prolonged period of time. Look how sturdy her legs are. 15. Waving back and forth now. It's waving back and forth. Uh -oh. oh, there she goes. 17. 17. That was pretty good. That's impressive. Have you ever seen them walk, even taking a couple of steps? Not by themselves, only if they have an assistance with a log or some object. That's just not how they were made. I'm glad that we did this test. We're able to disprove that it's not a natural inhabitant of the area, the Louisiana black bear. So I think we need to head back to the swamp and test out a few more theories. Bears live on the Honey Islands, and where there are bears, there are hunters. So now we're going to test out the theory that it's actually another biped, a hunter in camouflage. Okay, guys, um, I think first we should try and match up the original film with our environment here. And I'll take these uh, markers to flag the same path that the creature seems to take in the video. Okay. Punch a hole in this end, and we will drag out until you tell us that it looks good from your viewpoint with the film. Right there, perfect, Larry Market. We've set up the right proportion that was in the video to what we've got here. So I'm setting these markers to flag the same path that the creature took in the original video. All right, I think that we have the entire path marked out. Guys, check out this suit. That's it, huh? Awesome, you got the ghillie suit. Now, hunters wear these for camouflage so they can sneak up on animals or maybe when an animal's approaching them, they won't be seen. You know, most witnesses and believers say that the uh, swamp monster is covered in fur, so this is really going to give us that look. Okay, make me disappear here. All right, so for the final step of the ghillie suit, have a seat. I'm going to apply some makeup so you can really blend into the environment. Make me beautiful. If it was a hunter that Harlan saw, it would make sense because it blends right into the background and it almost disappears. I think that you are all swamp monstered out. Wow. That is intimidating. You are swampy. I know I've said this to you before, Ben, but you look like a swamp monster. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to go. So, Ben, I think you should get out, walk the path, and uh, we'll radio, let you know when we're ready. All right. Be careful out there. I think this test is going to be a success. I think the likelihood that Harlan saw a hunter in that film is very probable. Hey, Ben, are you set and ready to go? I am ready to do the Swamp Monster Walk. All right, on three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, wow. So we're here exploring the theory the Honey Island Swamp Monster could in fact be a hunter in a camouflage suit. All right, on three, two, one, walk.
Wow. He looks just like Harlan Ford's film. Okay, so that's the original footage. Here's you. Uh-huh. This test actually shows that we can hoax this video with a simple ghillie suit. It could have easily been a hunter just like this. But it definitely doesn't mean that that's what it was that Harlan saw. I mean, there are several eyewitnesses that have claimed to see this monster. I think we really need to do a nighttime investigation, see if we can capture our own evidence, see if the swamp monster really exists. building a few different sand traps so that we can hopefully capture some of the footprints of whatever this creature is. In no way, shape, or form is this going to harm the creature. The main point of this is just to get a footprint, and then we can take it back for further analysis. Aha. We've got a catfish and garfish that we've set here. If this animal eats fish, I think this is what it would be after. So I've gone ahead and set up the IR camera so we can get a video scan of the entire area. We have two of our IR cameras set up at the sand traps. We also have two IR cameras set along the game trails. Now I'm going to be here monitoring base camp while the boys are out there going through the bayou waterways in a flat bottom skiff. Trust me, you know what you're doing. Ready to go green? Let's get started. So Larry's driving us through these waterways, and what I'm doing is I'm scanning the banks of the river with our thermal imager. What we're looking for is something massive, something the size of the swamp monster that people are describing, and trying to listen and look at the same time. Don't have the looking back there. I'm not seeing anything just yet. Did you hear that? Wait, up there, up there. Cut your engine, cut your engine. You're really, really quiet. You hear that splashing in the water? Something over here in the water fire. I don't see anything. I think I found the culprit. Oh my gosh, is that a baby alligator? Yeah. It was. What got us out here though? That loud branch breaking. Oh. It, was, it was big. There was something heavy. Yeah, it wasn't that baby alligator. Guys, I'm just checking in. How's it going out there? And we were looking around. I don't think we found the culprit, but we did find a baby alligator. So we're going to keep looking. Copy that. Proceed with care, guys. Let's go. See you to Ben and Larry. I see you guys are by the traps. Yes, we are. All right. The fish are still here, still stinking. I'm not seeing anything now. The sand's undisturbed. Stop, listen. Right in there. Your flare. Get your flare on. Yeah, point it. Right. See those eyes? Right there. Through. I saw, I swear on my life, I saw eyes. Right through there. See it? Can you shine it back there? Do you hear that? What was that?
Barça. Welcome back, everyone. So tell us about Louisiana and the Honey Island Swamp Monster. We did some experiments, we came up with some really good results, and this is what happened. So a lot of the eyewitness accounts place this creature at about six to seven feet tall. So we thought, what creature out there that could be indigenous to this area has a height of about seven feet? The Louisiana black bear. Oh. And we actually found some at the New Orleans Audubon Zoo. And this is what we saw. He's able to stand up on his hind legs for a little bit of time, but we couldn't get him to actually walk. Well, since the bear doesn't have the bipedal gait that we were looking for, there is something that does, a man. So what we did is I donned a ghillie suit, mm. which is a British creation back in the early 1900s that were used by soldiers. Now hunters use them to camouflage themselves. Wow. Really similar, right? That is strikingly similar. After showing this most likely was a human wearing some type of a suit, we decided, though, there were still multiple accounts of eyewitnesses who have seen this thing over the years. We decided to launch a nighttime investigation. So as Ben and I were checking our baited sand traps, we heard this screeching, this animalistic screaming coming deep from within the woods. Wow. And it sounded like something was being butchered alive. <gasps> I've never heard anything like this, so take a listen. Slaughter. We did talk to one of the local trackers who also heard it, and he said that the wild boar, sometimes the males will fight to the death, and it gets really gory. How about the film? Did you guys have that analyzed? I did, actually. Now, even though there's no way of telling when it was shot or developed, we know it was after 1965, because that was when Super 8 film was invented. Not only that, a roll of this size usually has about 3,600 frames. This film only has about 2,500. A third of the film is missing. Wow. Hmm. So that would suggest that maybe it was edited. I wouldn't say edited because he didn't see any splice points in the entire film. But the fact is, either the top or the bottom was missing. So considering everything you guys experienced, would you say that this Honey Island Swamp Monster film is fact or faked? I say this film is fake. This is a hunter in a ghillie suit. I think we did a great job replicating the original footage, but I wouldn't be too quick to say that there is no Honey Island Swamp Monster. Although this film may not capture evidence of the Swamp Monster, with all the other eyewitness testimony, it may be that the Honey Island Swamp Monster is still out there. How did uh, Portland go? Portland was very interesting. We want to investigate that mysterious light over the Willamette River. We ran a number of tests. We got really interesting results. Many people consider Portland to be the most haunted city in the West Coast. Especially in the waterfront district, because it's got this history of gruesome deaths leading all the way back to the days of the early settlers. And if it's not bad enough that the bridge we're on right now is considered to be cursed, they say that the river...